Hi guys, it's me Chazzer HD and let's get into the incident analysis for this crazy 2019 German Grand Prix which of course took place yesterday at Hockenheim and today's video we are going to be looking at Leclerc, Hamilton and Bottas's key errors for why they ended up with poor results or retirements in certain cases so let's now get into that and first off let's look at Charles Leclerc and how he exited the Grand Prix. So here he is coming down to the penultimate corner at Hockenheim on, of course, the dry tyres on what is now becoming a bit more of a wet track. And then as he comes to the corner, he now has to start correcting the car because of oversteer and, of course, a lack of grip. But this is not what causes Leclerc to go off the circuit. Because you'll see he corrects the wheel and is looking good enough to get into the corner. But then this bout of oversteer, that is what causes him to go off the track and then get onto a very, very slip, uh, slippery apron off the circuit. He was desperately trying to stay on, but he knew that he was going to end up on this part of the circuit. And as soon as he got onto it, even though he was turning right, he had absolutely no hope of keeping it on the circuit and then went into the barriers and, of course, retired from the race. Now, Charles Leclerc actually did criticise the runoff area for being like a skating rink and causing, you know, his retirement to happen. He did blame himself for the error and he should because he did make the mistake. But uh, when it comes to the runoff area, I have no problem with it because if you do in Formula 1 and in racing, if you do make a mistake, you should be punished. You shouldn't be rewarded or, you know, let off the hook by making a mistake. And I have no problem, you know, with that part of the track being as slippery as it was. You shouldn't be going off the track in first place. And Charles Leclerc simply just going into the penultimate corner carried too much speed going into the corner considering the amount of grip there was for at the time the dry tires that were not adequate enough for the circuit and then of course we had lewis hamilton going off not retiring and just about getting away with it now as you can see here on lewis hamilton's onboard camera He's turning right, but I think Lewis Hamilton, because again, he carried, like Leclerc, too much speed into the corner. He knows that he is going off the circuit. And he, uh, here you can see he's off the circuit. But what Lewis Hamilton does very well, and I want you to look out for this, is he, he knows that he's going to hit the barrier. So what he does is he tries to hit the barrier, I think, in a certain type of way so he doesn't crash out of the Grand Prix. Because, as you can see here, still turning right, he's still trying to get the car back on track, but at this point with dry tyres on a wet track, he has no hope. But as he gets to the, uh, to the wall, you can see he is straightening the steering wheel because... He knows that if he can just glance off of the wall and not hit it, you know, front end first, then his chances of remaining in the Grand Prix are a lot better because if you go in front end first, you are most likely out of the race like Charles Leclerc was. But if you can kind of, with the side of your car, glance the wall, then you do have a better chance of remaining in the Grand Prix. And that is... When you get to this point, right before Lewis Hamilton hits the wall, he is just about doing that. And I, and I think he was trying to kind of do that so he didn't crash out of the Grand Prix. Of course, though, he did lose uh, his front wing, but I think that was the best he could have had coming from this crash. And I think Lewis Hamilton, to be honest, even though he did not drive well yesterday at Hockenheim, I think Lewis Hamilton did do well here to avert a disaster and retire from the Grand Prix in the way 
he did because of course with the Alfa Romeos getting a penalty after the race finished he got P9 in the Grand Prix so good piece of driving after the bad piece of driving to make sure he didn't retire from the race but for his teammate Valtteri Bottas the same cannot be said now of course at the end of the Grand Prix Valtteri Considering Lewis Hamilton was so far down, Valtteri was desperately trying to finish in the podium positions and most likely for him, P2, to try and capitalise on Lewis Hamilton being so far down. But he made, of course, a critical error and crashed out of the Grand Prix. And this is how it happened. So you can see here his left rear tyre as he starts to spin is touching the damp part of the track offline and that is what caused also Lewis Hamilton to have a spin at this corner but there are differences in how Hamilton and Bottas spun at this corner so Bottas you see there touches uh, the damp part of his left rear and then starts to spin the car on the curb and at this point even though he is going in backwards towards the wall He's still in a good position to save the car from hitting the wall because the car at this point, if you go back and look at the video, was actually slowing down a lot from when he spun the car. But what he tried to do was get the car facing forward again and get going as fast as possible because I think Valtteri at this point was probably panicking because he didn't want, of course, to hit the wall. So he tried to get the front end round as quickly as possible and get going again. But because there's no grip off the track, because it's still wet off the track, and because he touched the gravel, he ended up in the wall. And that, for me, uh, is Valtteri Bottas's World Drivers' Championship title chances completely dead because he had to finish in second to really gain on Lewis Hamilton and start to make a fight back against Lewis Hamilton. But after Hamilton finished in ninth and gained a couple points, I just don't see how Valtteri Bottas can possibly contend because Lewis, I think, with the races remaining and the tracks that are coming up, I think Lewis is simply too far ahead. And I don't see us having crazy races like this race for the rest of the season that could help Valtteri close down Lewis Hamilton now of course guys there is plenty of more I could have analyzed from this race such as overtakes more spins from you know Hulkenberg Raikkonen and Carlos Sainz but there was so much to look at this is the best I decided to analyze from this Grand Prix and I think uh, it is you know the most uh, entertaining parts of the race for sure but guys that has been it for the incident analysis for the 2019 uh, German Grand Prix. Make sure to comment down below uh, whether you agree or disagree with what I've said, and also you know comment down below what you thought of this video. And as well, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this as we do the incident analysis videos every Monday after a Grand Prix and also don't forget to subscribe for the race weekend content coming up this weekend for the Hungarian Grand Prix and as well uh, don't forget to smash the like button if you want to see this content continue on the channel but guys until my next video and until my next incident analysis video it has been me Chazer HD goodbye